Hey, what's up guys, it's me, Brandon Johnson, and I'm about to show you an absolutely amazing 2012 Sea Ray 250 SLX Bow Rider. Thank you for joining us here today. We're gonna to start checking this bad gal out by doing the bus seat test to see how much room there is for your friends and family's bus. We'll jump around, walk around the exterior to see what the gel coat condition is, then go back on the inside, talk about how great and beautiful the boat is. So let's get started right now. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heartland Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instruction on operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Everybody we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. Now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seat test is when I get in the boat, how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. At the helm seats, we have one and two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you can easily put seven in the sole, which is your cockpit floor. Coming into the bow on the deck. We have eight, nine. There is enough room here to do 10, 11, 12. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by, by manufacturers, down in the description below, I'll include a link to a video that explains that. Now let's look at the outside. Wow, this is a nice boat. Okay, as we take a look at the gel coat, it is stunning. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. So this is two-tone. Siri calls this cinnabar. Bottom is black, which is called black, I think. These are blower vent covers. They're in great shape. Something to always look at on a Siri Select. Hopefully they redesign these in later years because they were made flat and mold, and then they're uh, tread locked. I think is what it's called, the through bolt thing inside of there. So you contour them by tightening them. But I think with this redesign, they're relatively flat. So both sides are good, but if you look at the older body style, check that out. All right, it does have the arch, and yes, it's collapsible. Yes, it's shiny. Yes, it has a bibbity top. Yes, you can tow from it. Yes, it has lights in it, and yes, it is freaking sexy. It has a black re rub rail with the stainless steel insert, pop-out cleats, stainless steel bow scuff plate here at the stem, drop it out, whole side, port side, lifting strikes, keel, reverse chine are beautiful. Look at that. No marks. It's insane. Coming around to the port side, the port side is pretty. Also, starboard side. This is the starboard side. See, I'm just kidding. This boat makes me so freaking excited. I can't even talk right, because it's so awesome. You're gonna love it. I love the badging, I just think it's cool. All right, it's got trim tabs. It's got a Bravo 3 outdrive. Has a built-in swim platform that doesn't shake around and roll because it's built in. Deep reaching. GG Schmidt Industrial Ladder. Stereo remote control back here has the raised toe edge so you don't slide off. Diamond plated skid proof. There's another tow point and it has quiet ride technology, which means the technology is there for it to ride quietly. But let's look at the inside. I did want to show you here on this ladder. Usually these boat ladders are no fun at all to get in and out of, but if they're on land, if it's on water, it's a lot easier. If you're floating, you can swim in it, on it, whatever. But see, this thing just comes out collapse this down and then watch I'm not going to use my hand I can just walk right up maybe it's like a rodeo onto the boat that's just how solid and secure the ladder is built and it's awesome so now we're on the boat to look at the inside hey dad that's a cool whip all right this boat's so awesome I decided to have Billy fill me he's standing on the extended swim platform which is built into the boat I already said that when we walked around the outside there's a lot of boats that kind of have this unique design where we walk through the center, which I really like, because if you have 
relatives that are older or young kids and they're getting in and out of the boat, waves hit it, where are they gonna fall over the side or in the boat on a cushion is a lot better than on fiberglass. So some boats that have this kind of layout though, these hinge this way, which is, to me is kind of silly. So I like how these hinge in the middle. Now to save storage, we have storage here, we have storage here, and this cushion fills in just the top. So to make a full sun pad, almost full beam, there we go, just like that. Also, it's not what we see that makes a boat great. It's the quality of the hardware that holds it together. And that's where c is an elite brand. For example, dual gas assisted strut on each gold wing sun pad, almost a quarter inch thick hinge here, full piano hinges, stainless steel hardware. We have LED lighting. So this arch not only looks beautiful, it is very functional. You have your Bimini built in, it comes down if you don't want it up. We have lights up here, we have a tow point so that we can pull skiers, knee boards, wake boards. But for tubing, I always recommend you using the ski toe eye at the back. So if you have a lot of people, these cushions go here. There's a backrest that goes here. If not, this just slides right out. Now you have full beam storage and back to quality. This is a full lined boat. And what that means is usually you have a hull and then they put the motor in the back, the fuel tank, wiring for everything. Top of the boat goes on, windshield goes on, screws get put in the seats on the backside, boats are selling. This boat is a hull, it has a liner, fully finished fiberglass, then they use a sealant in between those, so the boat's very quiet in the water, and the exposed side is fully finished shiny fiberglass. As if you look in here, you can really see that. We also have dual batteries with a switch, which is a great safety feature, because if we're coven out listening to the radio, we get the old click, 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 we can just switch the other battery and take off. This boat has the upgraded Rockford Fosgate Marine Fair stereo system. We got storage right here. Little sink, cup holders. This arch does collapse for storage. Beautiful captain's chairs. We want to come check out the vinyl build. So, very plush bolstered. It has digital throttle and shift. So instead of a cable, it's all electric and smooth. You can plug your phone in. You can drink down here. Speakers are hidden here. Uh, this is a little storage box, trim tab controls, beautiful As Asada style steering wheel that tilts by pushing below. This is an all new helm for Sea Ray and it's gorgeous. It's leather wrapped, has the airplane style bezels and smart craft instrumentation. Uh, these rocker switches are protected. So if someone bumps into them, they don't turn stuff on that shouldn't be. All the uh, carpet snaps out and we are in the sole of the boat. Look how deep this storage compartment is. I open it right. So this is great big and goes way down in there. Once again, fully finished fiberglass. Shut one of these. So the port side helm seat also has the flip up bolster. You show them the vinyl on that bill, swivels and slides. We have our stereo control. You can plug your phone into it. You have a little glove box right here. You want to show them? Inside the head, this is a pump out porta potty. And the boat has bow and cockpit snap on covers. Back to quality, look at the windshield frame. Our way, 150 plus 60 pounds. You wouldn't do that on most boats. If it's cold, cool, or windy, you can block the door, shut the windshield, blocks that cold air out. In here, we also have storage for a cooler. We have a trash can, a table, and a leg. Table can go back there. Also, this boat is yacht certified, so legally you can put as many people in it as you'd like. Coming into the bow on the deck bill, Keep in mind, I'm sitting dead center in the bow. And look how deep I am. That's called freeboard. So it has a lot of freeboard, which is to your depth. So usually kids want to run up here, get on their knees and look out. A lot of boats, you worry about them falling because it's not very deep. Not this thing, very, very deep. You have grab handles, or as we like to call them, oh shit handles. These flip up. They have hinges to hold themselves up, like so. So you can get in your stuff for the kids that are whining and not have to sit there and hold it. These just break away and fold down. You have an anchor locker above the stem right here. So you put your anchor in here. There's more storage underneath this. These cleats pop in or out, like so. This bad gal's got a 350 mag Mercruiser, 300 horsepower, trim tabs, Bravo 3, under 100 hours. I absolutely love this boat and it's in stunning condition. That's why we did the video a little different than normal. So please subscribe if you have it and I'll see you on the water. Models popping bottles. Hey.